Hi everyone. So now we are going to talk about uh, Ampere circuit and load. All right. So Ampere circuit and load. Like the definition is very simple. Just like our Gauss's law that we have learned in electrostatics, and also it is we are, we I would like to call the mass symmetric law. That is, if there is a symmetry in that particular problem. Okay, in that particular charge distribution or uh, current carrying conductor, then we can find out the magnetic field of that very easily. All right, so that is what we are going to do. So the Ampere circuit law is you can you can think like that. It is similar to our uh, this one, and we have also seen the similarity between Coulomb's law and Biot's law. Okay, so similar way, Gauss's law. And Ampere circuit law, you can find a, some similarities. You can, you can. So the thing is, let, let's discuss what is ampere circuit law. Integral closed integral b dot dl is equal to mu zero i enclosed. Okay. So what is this? This is the total magnetic flux or total magnetic integral b dot dl that is is equal to mu zero times i enclosed. That is the total current. in most and the, okay let's discuss the definition of ampere circuit law what is ampere circuit law says the line integral the closed line integral b dot dl that is a magnetic field is equal to mu zero i m closed that is mu zero times the total current in closed in that for example what is the total current in closed in that suppose this is the thing okay so here i1 uh, i1 is flowing through this in that direction I two is flowing in that direction. I three is flowing in that direction. I four is here. I five is here. Okay, on the on the surface. Only I have to consider I one, I two, and I three. No I four, no I five. Why? Because this is not enclosed one. These are not enclosed one. So that is what is Ampere circuit law. So look at the similarity between uh, Ampere circuit law and Gauss's law. That was Q enclosed. This is I enclosed. All right. So now let's talk about let's talk more about ampere circuit law. Okay. So magnetic first example or first application. Magnetic field due to a current carrying wire of infinite length using ampere circuit law. And ampere law by by using ampere law we can find out this one. This we have found out already by using by itself law. Okay. So that is what we are going to find out here. So let's say this is an infinitely Uh, like long wire, and here we will consider an ampere circuit law, and uh, this one. Look at this. Here, D D is in this direction, and current is passing through in this direction, and then obviously the magnetic field will be in this direction. So it will be uh, like here, it will be in this direction. Here it will be in that direction. I mean, in this direction. D. What about here? In this direction. Okay. And again, substitute the value. Integral, closed integral, B dot dl. And what what is the meaning of closed integral? This is what is line integral. This is line integral. And if a line is closed, closed curve, then we use this one. The closed line integral of closed curve. Okay, that is what is this. So which is equal to integral B dot dl is equal to mu zero i n closed. Then integral B dot dl. Is equal to mu zero into i, and b is we can take outside. It's the constant, and b is no integral. What is the integral form here? Integral d. So integral d is equal to mu zero i, mu zero i, and what is integral d? So look at this little circle with radius r. So integral zero to two pi r d is equal to mu zero i. Okay, so b into two pi r is equal to mu zero i. So b is equal to mu zero i divided by two pi r. Mu zero i divided by two pi r. So b is equal to mu zero i divided by two pi r into like that is uh, vector form into n pi r. Okay. So the, you can you can just turn your page, then look, check that whether the magnetic field due to an infinitely long wire is this one or not. Like that you can check. So you would you would get surprised. That is this is what is the value. Okay, so this is how simply we have done that. Okay, so look at this. This, this is like the steps have a beauty, right? So they have a beauty that is simply we can do by using Ampere circuit law. So like we have done this by using Biot circuit law, then it's a long process. 
Okay, so this is what is the thing, and two applications of ampere circuit terms, ampere circuit terms we have to discuss. One is solenoid, second one is toroid. So we will discuss first the solenoid, then toroid. Thank you.